I'm joined by a couple of people um, from a local nonprofit centered all around dance and community. Now, personally, I don't know how to pronounce it. So I'm going <laughs> to ask you, Erin, tell me a little bit about this awesome nonprofit here in Bozeman. We always tell people to pretend like you have cheese in your mouth. I can do that. Raison d'etre. Ooh, I raison love it. Raison d'etre. I love it. So <laughs> tell me a little bit about raison d'etre sure. and how long you guys have been operating here in Bozeman. Uh, we started the company in 2017, so June actually, so mm -hmm. basically we turned six this June. Oh. Um, we started it just because we wanted to dance at a certain level. Mm -hmm. um, I think it's kind of a field of dreams type situation, mm -hmm. you know? Mm -hmm. <laughs> we built it and then we have a company of 12 to 15 people. Um, I think people kind of revolve in and out depending mm -hmm. on what they have going on in their lives, getting married, having babies, mm -hmm. starting careers, and then they come back. Um, and yeah, we just create projects together and kind of go on this journey, uh, putting together our resources mm -hmm. with our experiences that we put together. And we just like to create these innovative projects for the community. Awesome. And well, and Michelle, we have an upcoming experience that if people are interested, they can partake in. Tell me a little bit about that. Yeah, we have a show coming up this weekend, um, June 9th, 10th, and 11th. Shows on Friday and Saturday mm -hmm. evening and then Sunday afternoon. Um, and this is a really interesting show because for the first time, we're kind of pulling things out of our back pocket as mm -hmm. choreographers that we've been wanting to work on that we haven't yet had an opportunity to. And so we're finally getting to set these works on uh, the company and it, it's quite a range of styles and music. Mm -hmm. So it'll be um, a really sort of well-rounded show. I love it. Well, and Genevieve, tell me a little bit about just the power of dance and the way that you can communicate through dance. I was reading that I mean, you sometimes highlight local nonprofits mm -hmm. through your dancing. So tell me a little bit about that connection piece. Yeah, um, I think personally, dance is the way that I process the world. Mm -hmm. And I think that's true for a lot of artists. And I think that's true for the audience as well. Um, it gives them something that they can connect to and a way to process emotions and um, have a shared experience with the dancers. I think it can be really powerful um, that you're all experiencing that movement together, whether you're watching it or doing it. Um, and to be telling a story with your body, if that's the story of the music or a narrative, um, I think can be really beautiful. And yeah, for this show in particular, um, every choreographer has a really unique inspiration for their piece. And so we really have a wide range of moods and tones and it, the music is all over the place from medieval choral music to um, Pink Floyd. And so I think it's gonna be a really fun journey for the audience to go on. Awesome, well, for more information about your work and about your upcoming event, everybody can go check out our website for those links. All three of you, thank you so much for waking up early. I know you had late rehearsals <laughs> last night getting ready for this performance weekend. So we truly thank you all for, for taking the time out of your day to come visit us.